Here's the situation. I've actually worked in corporate America all my life at companies like Amazon and JP Morgan. But I left all of that to start building AI agents for small businesses. At first, it was all good. I felt like a free man escaping that nine to five grind and my business was growing fast. We were helping dozens of businesses add AI voice agents and saving them a lot of money. But before I knew it, I was working 80 hours a week just to run the company. I realized the one thing I missed from my corporate nine to five was the stability and predictability of it all. It sounds backwards, but the corporate job had an off switch. So I kind of just escaped one prison to build myself another one. This is the story of how we started Booked in AI. And the first time we even thought about doing something like this was during one of our regular team calls. And we were just brainstorming ways on how we can really scale our business without having to hire, manage, and train a bunch of new people. And one of the ideas that we had was to have some sort of software platform where our customers can actually build these agents for themselves in a couple of clicks rather than having to do all that back and forth with us. The team thought there was a lot of potential in this idea. So that was kind of one of the first times we even thought about making a platform. Even though it was coming with all this experience in AI and software, I was still having to do a lot of this work manually and burning several hours in the process. We were doing prompting, integrations, testing over and over for every single client. A bunch of manual work had to go into this to test and make the agents actually viable. And here's the crazy part. Hundreds of other AI builders and agencies were doing the exact same thing. And I knew there had to be some sort of tool that could automate a lot of this process. So I searched for days, but I found nothing. And that's when it hit me. If we could build something like this, it would be huge. So let me show you exactly what we were doing. Okay, so imagine this. So let's say Mike sees an Instagram ad and fills out your form, but you're in a meeting, so you can't really respond in time. And five hours later, let's say you try to call Mike back, but the thing is, he just went with someone else and you lost him due to being slow to respond. But let's say that you did call Mike back quickly and he's interested. And the next day, Mike calls your office with questions. Pretty natural. But the problem is your assistant picks up and they don't know what you spoke to Mike about, which kind of leaves Mike frustrated and he has to explain everything to begin with, which means Mike frustrated, it'd be like, this is not the right time for me. But in six months time, Mike actually might even need your service again. But if no one really remembered to follow up, or reach back out, the 10K Mike was actually willing to spend on you, that's just gone for good. So if you had just stayed in touch, then to quick check in every month or so, Mike would have come back to where he was ready. And that's the problem. We're literally losing leads due to slow response time. There's scattered conversations everywhere. We're forgetting old leads. And that's the problem we set out to solve. So this was our idea to fix the problem. Let me break it down for you. So we needed to make a platform where it's easy for people to build these kind of AI agents that can handle all these conversations. So for example, let's say a lead comes in like Mike, we need the AI to be able to do stuff like call, text, email, DM them on social. And then also the key is to make sure they're following up until it literally meets the objective. Okay, and then we need to also make sure that whenever the lead does call or respond, the AI can handle those conversations and remember the context of the lead and many leads and know where exactly where you left off. And naturally, because this is a problem no one really solved before. Most companies actually have big piles of dead leads that are just waiting to be reactivated. What we want to do is have a place where you can just drop in these leads and make sure we have agents that do all the follow up so you can always stay in touch, send in these quick reminders, and we'll stop losing these kind of leads, right? And the most important part is that we want to make sure that these agents actually behave like people so we can have personalized conversations at scale with with every lead. And here's the thing about building software. You think you understand the problem until people actually start using it. We ran into all sorts of issues and bugs, but here's what was amazing. Our users kept using it anyway, because the core problem we were solving was so painful to solve without our tool. And our users really saw the value and potential of what we were doing. So we just kept shipping fixes one bug at a time. And each time we made sure we were having calls with our users, they tell us what broke or what's not working for them, and we'd fix it as soon as possible. The secret wasn't really writing perfect code or even having a perfect product from day one. It was making sure we got this in front of our real users fast and letting them guide us on what actually mattered. And soon after we had our breakthrough moment. This week and next week, we're gonna have between nine to 12 using the system and creating about, I would say 15 to 20K MRR. Andrew was completely non-technical, zero coding experience, zero AI knowledge, but something incredible happened when he started working with us. 
and it, luckily it was the best advance investment we've made thus far in AI. And this was the first time our vision actually worked from beginning to end. We got a non-technical person to successfully build and sell these AI solutions. And we realized if Andrew could do this, anyone could, which means our platform wasn't just solving our problem anymore. It was transforming an entire industry. Once we knew this idea could work, we actually had to make a tough choice because we were running an AI agency that served over 200 clients. And honestly, business was good. But here's what really kept bothering me because was to scale the agency further, we need to hire more people, train them and manage them. That's really the agency model. Your growth is limited by the amount of talent you have. But the thing is, we are software engineers. We're not people managers. I'm a dev at heart and my team are other builders. And we're experts at creating software, not managing training and doing high pressure sales. So we made the call to pivot. We decided to stop taking on any new agency clients. And we took a massive revenue cut because of that, because we're going all in on booked in AI. But I knew if we leveraged what we're actually good at, which is building software, we could in time help way more people. Yeah, it really did hurt financially, but we're doing what we do best, which is building technology that scales, and we're having a lot more fun doing so. So we proved that this platform works. Everything in the market, and by far, no question about it, I'd say yours is, there's no, not even a close comparison to a second best. Yo, Sam and Ro, um, I just tried out the version two of the AI setup, bro, this shit is fucking fire. We validated the non-technical people can successfully use this platform to build and then even sell these type of AI agents. I promise you, if you had met me two and a half months ago, <laughs> it was, you know, it, it's night and day, night and day. Um, so thank you guys for really helping me walk through that. And the best part is they can even white label and sell it as their own, right? So going forward, we're focused on making this platform better and better by working with our users. And we're really excited to get Booked in AI into the hands of thousands of agencies because when every agency has the AI that's this easy to work for them, every business gets better service and no lead really goes untouched. That's the future of what we're building, one where AI isn't just for tech companies, it's for everyone.